so welcome to my channel and thank you for your support so i just uh, highlight something which i have seen on the comment box so there was question was asked by the susant uh, behra uh, that what is the difference between the ground and earthing and you have seen that one person from our community only has replied so beautifully and i am very happy the way he has replied and the answer he has given so this is how we have to help our uh, community and we need to create our community where we are helping to each other so that we can grow in our life and we can share our knowledge with each other so thank you keep doing like this and please create such type of community so that we can be helping hand to each other second question which i have seen many times that from krishna teja he is asking about the insulation used in the vehicle and where they are used so this particular question he has asked many times so today i am trying to make the video on this as i get the time i just make the video so protection of the wiring what is the meaning of that protection of the wiring or insulation of the wiring or the covering of the wiring we will just discuss this particular thing in the vehicle so before going to uh, video just i i was seeing the watch time from the subscriber and the non subscribed one so the watch time if you see that there is there are people who are watching the videos but they are not subscribing but i don't understand what is the point of not subscribing the channel where you are getting all these information in a you know very good good way and it is very effective uh, and you do not have to wear any cost on that so please subscribe if you are watching the video and if you are liking the content so without wasting time i just to move to the next slide that is our protection of the wiring so let's move to this protection of the wiring is nothing but what protection you are putting on your wiring harness so let start or let me give you the uh, a basic overview so we have there are three layer in most of the wiring harness so i just discuss the basic things then we will go into the deep so the first layer so you can see here so this is nothing but this is the fixture board or jig board from the supplier so supplier used to create or supplier used to manufacture our harness when you give from the oem that particular 2d or uh, the way you want the harness okay so if you see these are the wires and you can find out these are the twisted wire and i do not say about more on this twisted wire why they have done and wh what is the use of these twisting wire so i i'm just you know explaining these wires so you have the first these wires which are connecting from one device to other device or one component to other component so these wires you can not put in your vehicle like this without uh, you know naked wire you can not put put like this only you can not put if you put these wires or route your wires in that way what will happen that you will be having some sharp edges or you have some vibration or dynamic movement then your wire will be damages over the period of time so that is not recommended for any oem that your wire will damage and that particular function will not work over the time or suppose 6 month or 1 year after 1 year so this is the protection which is used for the protect to the wire your wiring harness so there are there are many wire, uh, wire protection can be used for the wiring harness based on the area of application so first i will give you the basic thing so when you have these wires so first first layer which we will do we will do mostly that is the taping and third wire third layer is also taping so tape is normal tape and you can give the here uh, the spiral tape spiral tape the first first layer would be spiral tape like this like this okay so these bundle would be like this spiral tape then 20th layer is nothing but this is the 20th layer so as i told you there are three layers on the protection first is 10 20 and 30 these are the standard layer which we call like 10 20 30 it is nothing related to you know uh the what is the meaning of this the only thing that which layer will come first 10 will come first then 20 then 30 would be in the last this is the uh, you know uh, a process or you can say a order so first the tape that would be the our spiral tape then third 30 would be the taping and it might be a spot tape spot tape is nothing but when you have put this your 20th layer of this protection then you are just giving the tape so that 
whatever protection you have given it should not come out so this is the three la th three layers for the protection of the wiring now it comes the taping is normal the taping is nothing your spiral tape or overlap tape this is the way of taping only but the insulation would be remain same that would be taping only but this particular insulation that is coming for 20 layer that might be changed based on the area of application or the temperature of that particular so those things only we will see in this particular video how this protection changes and what type of protection apart from this we give in the wiring harness okay so we will see that there are some grommet or uh, you know rubber boot as, as well in the harness so what they are we will see so first we will see the wiring harness insulation protection and covering as i told you you can say anything so different type of insulation used in wiring harness first is the protectors protectors are nothing but like grommet then you might be having rubber boot we will see how it looks rubber boot and you can might be having that elbow also okay we will see uh, how it looks like or the channel as well you can say and trough or trough so these are the protectors which are used for the harness then pvc tubes we will see what are those then conduit or corrugated tube or convoluted tube that is also and then tape which we have seen already in the first slide so moving to the type of uh, insulation so first is the protectors so as i told you these are the grommets which are used for the harness moving so where they are used generally grommets are used when you have one body and you want your harness moving from one point to other point so suppose this is my engine room this is my engine room and this is my passenger compartment passenger compartment and this is your firewall and this particular harness is moving from here to here because of some fusing or there are many function as I already told you. So how they will move from here to here that is the question mark. Okay. So because you have the sharp edges of the body or firewall. So this should be moved. You cannot move without any protection. So these are the grommet which are used here in this particular part and then your wire bundle will move inside this grommet like this and you are moving from one body part of uh, car to other body part of this so this is how the grommet used to protect our harness and these are the door module harness where you are moving your harness uh, from door module and there also you have the seat metal uh, where you have to move your harness from one body part to other body part you cannot move these harness without these protector if you are moving then what will happen again over the period of time uh, your harness will rub against the seat metal and or sharp edges and it will damage your harness so this is how the grommet plays a, a role to protect our harness and these are the rubber seals okay so rubber seals is also in used in the same way but here you can see that your harness suppose is going from here and going it, it in the downward so suppose if you are not using this rubber boot what will happen your wire harness might be bent and it can touch to these bolts and when it will touch to the and these bolts and during the vibration and dynamic motion what will happen your harness will rub against this and damage during the rubbing so this is how your rubber seals also protects our wiring harness and it also plays a very very important role to protect our harness and rubber boot also rubber seals also can be used on the as a back cell for the connector that also we will see for the connector we use the back cell to protect our wire wire harness so that back out should not be happen that we will also so see in the additional part of the connector but as of now what i am discussing that is protector for the harness which is used for uh, your harness to protect the uh, harness against rubbing moving to the pvc tube pvc tube is nothing but it is a type of uh, you know uh, tube which used also to protect our harness you can see here but in this there are more flexibility so there is also one corrugated tube in corrugated tube there is a less flexibility but if you see the pvc tube you will be having more flexibility so that you can bend your harness according to the position of uh, uh, the the harness is placed in which location it is coming so here also there are two types of uh, one is a split so where you i have already discussed this split and non split where you can have this harness and you can take out your harness without uh, damaging your 
tube but there are non split harness where you have the only one time you have this particular wire will go inside and after that you can no take if you want to take the uh, harness out you have to damage your this particular tube so this is these are the pvc tubes then corrugated tube so which is i, I was already discussing that corrugated tube uh, is not that much flexible as your pvc tube and their temperature range and their flexibility also varies so based on the requirement and area of the application we use the corrugated tube and pvc tube pv corrugated tube gives that uh, corrugated tube gives the protection on higher temperature as well so you can see the different different size of corrugated tube we use so it depends on the number of wires you are uh, you are uh, taking so suppose i am taking 10 wires here then i i am going to use this particular size then 15 uh, 15 wire then i am going to use this one then 50 then i am going to use this one so depending on the number of wires we change the size of the corrugated tubes and i will tell you what are the size 15 20 25 10 7 5 so these are the two uh, wire size uh, sorry the diameter of this corrugated tube and depends on the number of wires we use here also you will see the split and non split and the concept remains same when you have the requirement to take your harness out then you use the split one but when you don't have the uh, requirement to take out your harness then you use the non split so one example of this is battery cable so in battery cable is a one big cable of 35 square mm or 40 square mm which goes from one end to other end suppose alternator to battery or battery to starter motor terminal so here you are not required to take your one wire uh, again and again so that time you can use the non split and most of the time we use the non split corrugated tube for this type of battery positive and battery negative however in battery negative we don't use but for battery positive we use only the corrugated tube non split so where you do not require any uh, you know any requirement where you want to take your uh, harness out so that is uh, uh, that is not recommended to use the non split because here only one in battery the 35 or 40 uh, square mm of single wire it goes it is not like multiple wire it is going but when you are going using in passenger compartment or any other compartment then you have the multiple wires so you can see here so suppose if you have five wires then it is better to get and uh, use the non uh, sorry split uh, corrugated tube uh, suppose this particular wire is damaged then you can see that particular damaged wire during the diagnosis process so this is how the corrugated tube then moving to the tape so i have already told you that tape is nothing but which is used so you can see here in this particular picture that this is the first step which we do that suppose your wires are there then first is the this step the, this is the 10th layer then this is our 20th layer and then after that once your 20th layer is placed then we put one more layer that is 30th layer of the tape as well so first we put the spiral wire spiral tape and then other one we put the 30th layer as a sport tape so this is how the tape we are using that spiral one is this one this is the spiral way of taping the spiral tape then moving to the location and area of the particular uh, uh, insulation how we are going to use that particular insulation in that particular location so suppose you are in the engine room this is my engine room this is my passenger this is my trunk so this is my passenger compartment passenger compartment this is my trunk and this is my engine room so suppose if you are using the engine in engine room then you see it is obvious that in engine room i have already told you that there is a high temperature in the engine room so in engine room you cannot use the pvc tube so pvc tube used in a less less temperature so here most mostly we use the corrugated flexible conduct or conduct is nothing but convolute or corrugated tube that is the same thing or you use the something like uh, flex rep flex rep where you have the high temperature uh, standability of that particular insulation then you have suppose you have to use the sleeve suppose so there are high temperature zone in 
particular engine also suppose exhaust area where you have to use the particular sleeve where it can stand for the high temperature range so this is how we decide on what location which particular of protection should be used so moving to the other different type you can see here this is the convolute tube then this is the flexible and hard tubing this is the tabular shrinkable sleeving then this is also the sleeving heat seal so i'll just tell you this type of sealing we use when you have the your harness moving your harness is moving near to exhaust pipe so suppose your harness is moving near to the exhaust pipe where your temperature ranging from 200 175 to 250 degree centigrade that time you have to go through the this heat seal where the, your particular wiring harness can be uh, can be saved uh, before uh, damaging then branching and fastening closer accessory so suppose you want the t type of branching then you have to use this type of uh, this type of protection then uncoated and coated sleeving you you have a self closing sleeping sleeving then you have expandable sleeving so these all the sleevings are used based on the flexibility and the temperature range so suppose you have the harness where there is a chances of rubbing and there is a chances of cutting that particular harness through the uh, sharp edges then you need to use the flexible or expandable sleeving where you can save your harness so now moving to the area of application so there are two type as i already told you the engine compartment and the passenger compartment so protection against abrasion as well as extreme temperature and environmental condition you have the area of application the engine compartment but passenger compartment is nothing is not like that P protection against the noises and environmental condition only you do not have the extreme temperature in passenger compartment so you have no need to go to the uh, you know thermal wrap in the passenger compartment because you do not need that particular temperature requirement in the passenger compartment but when it comes to engine compartment so you need that thermal wrap thermal wrap when you have the high temperature requirement so you have to see the area of application and based on that area of application you have to decide where you have to do the insulation which type of insulation now I have shown you here the two zone. Uh, one is the passenger, uh, sorry, passenger compartment is here and engine compartment is here. Okay, so that temperature resistance is required in this particular engine uh, engine compartment. So harness placed near the heat source face the unique challenge near the temperature requirement that harness in other location do not. So suppose my harness is placed here, so it is not required the temperature which I already I have explained already so many of the traditional options are available in the market you have to decide based on the what type of requirement you have so PET cloth product aluminium tape in high heat resistance concentra concentration area to limit the part number while still providing the necessary protection so uh, the crux of this particular point is when you have the temperature high temperature you need to go with the high temperature insulation which can stand with so moving to the abrasion resistance which comes in this area so you have more chances in this area because as i already told you so door is something which you need to open very frequently and you have the dynamic motion in this and there are chances that your harness is rubbing again and again uh, through the body so that you need here the type of insulation where your abrasion can be maintained or the abrasion requirement can be maintained so abrasion can occur a tight corner limited space area and during the manufacturing installation instead of using traditional hard plastic or covering flat tube use the increased flexibility and built-in protection to avoid the abrasion so this is the same thing which i was saying that you need here the more flexibility and if you need the more flexibility then you should go with the more flexible insulation and as i already told you what are the insulation which is 
applicable for more flexibility and which are applicable for the high temperature range so let's move to the further so here also the same thing in this area also you need the flexibility so for flexibility as i already told you that you have to select the particular insulation for the uh, flexibility so here it is nothing but the current pain point with the wiring harness is ability to fit the harness in alert alerted space suppose space is also a constraint then you have to take care of that thing also due to their nature the wiring harness are bulky and tend to difficult this makes using the product supervisor flexibility vitally important so this is okay uh, here it is trying to say the same thing which we have already discussed that flexibility temperature abrasion you have to consider and then you need to select that particular insulation in that particular area now coming to the uh, application which i have already told you like temperature classes so we have a b c d e f so minus 40 to 85 we have the passenger compartment out of radiation exposure or you have the luggage compartment inside door lids exterior cavity wheel housing so these are the uh, location where you can go with the class a type of insulation then you have the class b type of temperature range where you have the engine compartment frame passenger compartment exposed to direct solar radiation passenger compartment exposed is to re radiated heat suppose there is a passenger compartment which is coming to the firewall in that case you have to select for the class b then class c you have the minus 40 to 125 degree centigrade where you have the engine compartment then on engine compartment cover all these uh, portion you have to cover with the class c then minus 1 42 150 175 and 200 degree centigrade so all these portions are coming under the engine compartment so if i talk about the this particular portion so where it comes as i already told you it will come under the near to the exhaust so in exhaust you will get the temperature into the 200 degree centigrade to 250 degree centigrade and even more so in that condition you have to take care okay my particular wiring harness is going through the engine uh, near to the exhaust so i have to take care my harness with thermal wrap so this is how you have to take care so this is what i was talking about abrasion so this is how the testing happens so suppose this is your protection and this is the needle okay and it is supposed during the dynamic and vibration this is touching to this particular protection so how it will react this is how the testing happen for the insulation now moving to the some of the example of conduit uh, the convolute tube so these are the for general purpose so you can see here the temperature range and the ip rating as well so solid is nothing but non split and split i have already told you this thing so here it is a flexible standard weight nylon which is used for the <laughs> extremely tough and very uh, uh, very high fatigue conditions now application you can see the road vehicle application you might uh, you you can use mechanical socks is preferred then what are the ratings you can see here the ip rating you can see the ip40 you have the rating for this one and sealed fitting also it comes with ip67 ip68 then degree of mechanical protection what it give high flexibility fatigue life very high abrasion impact and soak resistance suit it for high risk impact application what is the temperature range temperature range is also for 120 degree centigrade but short term is only 150 but if i ask you one question here can you use this particular uh, convolute tube or corrugated tube near the exhaust so your answer should be no because here the temperature range is till 120 degree centigrade and it comes under the black color now coming to this high temperature conduit which i have already explained to you so you see the temperature range here till 175 it has and it can stand to 190 degree centigrade as well so these are the conduit uh, these are the con co corrugated tubes which stands based on the temperature range and it all the insulation comes with the temperature and flexibility and based on the our requirement you use the uh, 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 protection based on this so suppose one example i give and your harness is coming in passenger compartment and in passenger compartment you know there is no 
temperature effect because it uh, lies between 85 degree centigrade maximum so here if suppose you are giving this type of tube that there is no sense of making this here you just can give the cloth itself cloth is enough where you do not have any dynamic and vibration uh, part so cloth is enough to protect your harness so this is how we select the our winding or suppose luggage compartment so in luggage suppose there is a some area and routing where you have very minimal vibration then you can use the cloth then i have told you the protection so protector might be a different different type of protector that like this is a t type of protector this is a y type of protector this is elbow so these are the type of protection you can uh, use for the wiring harness where you can easily bend your harness based on the requirement suppose there is a situation where you have to give your harness in the t shape so one particular bundle is going and